Okay, so this is part 11 and uh, this is what we sculpted uh, in the last video. So this is a dense mesh. I, I want to start creating the, this grass, uh, but uh, to use this to emit, uh, to be the particle emitter would be quite uh, too dense. Uh, and I don't want to start baking materials right now, uh, but uh, what we can do is uh, just duplicate this, uh, have this as a backup. Uh, we, we, we shall be using that for uh, material baking, texture baking, and uh, normal map baking. I have this in a collection called uh, back, Backup. Then I can select this and uh, remesh this to reduce the number of uh, faces we have. So you can go to remesh here uh, in the object data and uh, change from uh, change the mode from vortex voxel to pod and uh, click the uh, the bad button and uh, we're going to use about 10,000 faces so which will bring the the, uh, the first count from down from around a hundred thousand uh, to ten thousand so that we have a more workable uh, something easier to work with yes okay you can see that uh, the remaining is done and uh, this is what we are left with which is decent uh, we still have we have a few issues here so I can just come in here and start Solving uh, at least getting rid of those issues. Just going to select this and, uh, and uh, let's start working on the particle emission for this for this grass. So if we go to let's see if we go to particle settings and add a hair particle system. See this is the grass we have. But uh, it's too long right now, so I'm just going to reduce uh, the height just a bit. Now uh, let, let's also subdivide this area so that we have uh, the shader and the camera view, and uh, maybe preview this in rendered mode or material look dev. So we want to have some grass here, and uh, in the render settings, uh, there should be a hair option here. Change uh, the hair shape type from strand uh, to strip, uh, so that we can see the shapes themselves. And uh, we can go now to back to the hair settings, and under sh hair shape, we can play around with the shape here. So you can see the tip is set to zero. So if we play with this a bit, Maybe reduce not sure which one would look best. Yeah, actually I think uh, instead of closing the tip we can have it uh, like that. And uh, now if you go under if you scroll down I should find children. You can set it to interpolate and so that we can increase the number of uh, particles for each on this in our scene and also now if we go under here we should see a few options here uh, i don't want to make this a uh, hair tutorials but just look at uh, the settings i'm using and see the results and uh, you can play around with this as well so uh, if you go to kink you can change how uh, the children particles you have added kind of look around a shape around uh, the parent or the yeah the parent uh, particle or the original particle we had so you can see have braids and uh, so you can play around with the settings until you find something that looks good can also go under here and turn on advanced uh, so that we, we access more uh, options for the hair and uh, let's see what else we can under velocity I can randomize uh, the velocity this will also randomize uh, the scale of your grass uh, I'm also going to scale this down because right now the grass is too high 
and uh, you can see it's going over the camera maybe let's pull the camera up a bit and see how that looks first okay so let's just reduce you can either play with the normal reduce it down uh, to bring the grass down a bit and uh, we don't need to have the grass grow everywhere we, we can have it uh, spawn in the direction of uh, the camera where the camera is so there is no reason for us to have grass uh, this side especially if you're just going to create a still image if you're going to animate uh, the camera uh, rotating around the entire scene maybe you want to do that but uh, uh, I'll maybe just have a forward movement and a slight uh, sideway movement and that's it so I don't need particles on this side I don't need particles on this side so to remove those particles on this side I can just have a vertex group so click that you can scroll down until you find vertex group and under density select the group and uh, we can start painting out uh, the different areas we don't want to have our uh, grass so if I uh, actually it's, it will start painting out areas that sh should have grass so I want grass to grow around here around the river somewhere like that and uh, closer to the camera so okay the camera is around here and uh, that also helps us have more grass in the scene without slowing uh, down the PC.